Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can free up your valuable storage space on your Chromebook laptop or your Chromebox. Your storage space, your local storage space is very valuable and it can easily run out of space if you don't keep on top of your files that are stored locally. So on this video, we'll find out how you can reduce the amount of storage being used so you can free up that space for more valuable things like, for example, if you like to install a lot of Android apps which all get stored locally, you need to make sure any other files are not stored locally. There's six different places where files are stored. The first place you don't have much control over and that's the system section. Now on that section, that's where Chrome OS is, is installed, so you don't have any control over that. The other sections, you've got the My Files section, you do have a lot of control over, over that. That's where the Downloads folder is, and it's where any other files you use, from say if you're using an Android app and you're editing an image, if you then save that image with inside the app, that will also be within the My Files section. So that's a really big section that can easily take up a lot of space and it's one, one of the areas that you do have control over. One of the other sections is browsing data. Now browsing data is when you use your Chrome browser and you visit different websites. It will always use up data to some extent, depending on the website that you are visiting. For example, it could be cookies, cached images, cached files, stuff like that. And they all take up data from, all take up space in your browsing data. That's another section that you do have control over. And we'll go over that in this video as well. There's the apps and extensions section. Now in that section, that's where all of your Android apps are kept. And any extension or app that you use on your Chrome browser is also kept there you have full control over that as well. Depending on the type of Chromebook you have, you might also have a Linux beta storage section. And if you've used Linux on your Chromebook, if it's capable of using Linux and you've installed it, then that will also take up storage in that section. Again, we have complete control over it. And finally, the last section we have control over is other users. If you have more than one user using your Chromebook, you'll have other users section as well. And you will see that that can also rapidly increase with space. So if there's other users, anything they save in their downloads folder, and then you've got your downloads folder, all of that will take up valuable space. So out of all of the six sections, the system section you have no control over. Over the other five, you have complete control over. And if you keep on top of those sections, you'll have more space on your local storage and that's exactly where we want to be. So let's have a look at all of them sections now. We'll go through each section one by one and how you can then manage them sections by deleting files or moving files to the cloud. To find your storage settings on a Chromebook, just go to where the time is at the bottom right hand part of the screen, click on that, then click on settings. On the left hand side, choose device and then click on storage management. So as you can see, there's six different areas where your Chromebook storage is used. As I mentioned earlier, you can't do much about the system area. That's where the Chrome OS operating system is. But all of the other areas you do have control over. To manage these areas, you just click on each one. So My Files, if you click on there, and that will bring up your My Files. It's the same as where your files are from that icon there, which brings you into there. As you can see, it's my files and it's your downloads, my save downloads, whatever other folders you use as well. And you can see that Linux files, so any files you've saved within Linux will be saved there. And any files you've saved within from Android apps would also be saved all under my files. So this is where you would remove files you no longer needed to reduce the my files section of your Chromebook storage, and it would be simply a case of either deleting them or going through them one by one, deleting them or moving them to the cloud, which is really easy to do because you've got your Google Drive down here, so you can move them to the cloud as well. So I think that was pretty clear. It just shows you your My Files section and how you can either delete those files or move the files to the cloud. That will save you a lot of space if you do that on a regular basis. And now we'll have a look at the browsing data section. That's where your cookies and cached images and files when you browse the internet are all stored. 
So the next one here is browsing data. As you can see, it's taken up 696 megabytes on my Chromebox. If you click on there, it will take you to where you can clear this browsing data. There's basic and that covers browsing history, cookies and other site data and cached images and files. As you can see, the cached images and files taking up 215 megabytes and that's from the last seven days. So you can just do last hour, last 24 hours, whatever you decide. Obviously, if you want to re uh, save, save up more space, free up more space, then the more time you put, then you'll get you know more. Here it is just 215 megabyte, but that's because I do clear mine regularly. If you didn't, you would most likely expect to see on the last seven days, that could be say 100 megabytes. And then when you do all time, that could grow, grow quite substantially. And then there's the advanced tab as well. And that's got browsing history, download history, cookies and other site data, cast images and files, passwords and other sign-in data, autofill form data, site settings and hosted app data. So there's quite a few sections there. And it's simply the case of just ticking the ones you want to clear. So you don't need to clear them all. If you wanted to, you could just decide to get rid of cached images and files, choose how long for last four weeks, for example, and then you simply press clear data and that will help to remo remove the amount of storage being used under browsing data. So as you can see, there's quite a few options in the browsing data section, what you can delete and whether you're gonna delete them over seven days, for a week, four weeks or, or during the whole lifetime of the previous time you deleted the browsing data section. Okay, so the next section is the Android apps and extensions section. And in there, you'll see all of your Android apps and all of the extensions that you use on your Chrome browser. And then the next one is apps and extensions. So if you click on there, it'll come up with all of the apps that you use. Now, obviously some of these apps here are ones I've installed. So you could just click on there and click uninstall and that would uninstall that app. So that's a really good way of seeing all of the apps you've got and quickly going through and deleting the ones you don't need. Obviously there will be some which you can't remove even though they show up on the apps section. For example, files, that's here. This is where you look at your files. So it's you wouldn't be able to delete that, for example, and you wouldn't want to. But you can go through this and delete all the um, apps you don't use and that will save, up, uh, save you a considerable amount of um, data storage. So you'll be able to free up a lot of storage space by deleting apps from this section here. So as you can see, this section is really good because it shows all of your apps and the extensions in one place and you can go through them one by one and decide if you want to un uninstall them or not. If you do that on a regular basis and only keep the Android apps that you use, you'll see that your storage is freed up a lot. Now the next section is the Linux beta storage section. As I said earlier, this only really is for people who use Linux on their Chromebooks or Chromebox. So the next one is Linux beta storage. Now, not everybody will necessarily have this. It all depends whether you have a Chromebook that supports Linux. And even if you do, you may have never actually installed the Linux. If you have, you will see that it's taken up quite a, a lot of room here. I know already the reason why it's taking up that much room is one, it's installed Linux and two, there is Steam in there as well. So although you can't see that, it is there. Now the only option you have when you click on there, is there's a few different options here, but as far as the storage is concerned, remove Linux from, remove Linux from Chromebox. And then if you click on that, it will remove Linux and you'll see that that will then should get down to zero. So that again is a good way of saving space on your Chromebook. So as you would have saw in the Linux section, you don't have many options. You either can delete or not. There's, you can't break down into different sections. Obviously you could log into your Linux area and delete files that way. And then that would minimize the amount of storage being used if you don't want to delete the Linux section entirely. Okay, and the last section is the other user section. This is if you have more than one user of your Chromebook or Chromebooks and you want to delete one of them to save up some storage space. Other users, now 
I am the only person who uses this Chromebox, but I do have different accounts. So that's why it's come up with other users here. If you click on there, the only way you can do it, you would have to be the, the user doing this would have to be the user who owns the Chromebook. So that would be the person who first registered with the Chromebook. They are always seen as the owner. So they could go in here and then it's restrict sign in to the following users. If you click on there, what you would do. So that's my owner here. And then I've got two more here. I could, if I click on that, what it would do is then get rid of all the download information, download folder files that that actual user is using. And the same if I did that it with that one as well. But I won't be doing that today, but that's how you save space from getting rid of how many users are using your Chromebook. So as you would have seen, that shows you all of the users who used a Chromebook or Chromebox. You can delete them users. If you delete one of the users, then that means their downloads folder will be deleted and that will save up a lot of space. It's the owner of the Chromebook who can manage that section. No other user can manage that section. So I hope that video really helped to show you how you can free up lots of storage space on your Chromebook. If it did, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future movies. And thanks for watching.